American transgender cabaret performer and actress Alexis Arquette was actually born as Robert Arquette on the 20th of July, 1969 in Los Angeles, California, in the United States, the fourth child of Brenda, Olivia, and Louis Arquette, who were both involved in the film industry. She was also known as an underground cartoonist who worked on projects such as Pulp Fiction and The Wedding Singer. She passed away in 2016. So just how rich was Alex Arquette? According to Celebrity.Money, the American actress had a net worth of over $3 million accumulated from her over three decades long career in the previously mentioned fields. In addition, she was recognized as an outspoken activist for the LGBT community. Arquette made her debut in 1982 at the age of 12, appearing in the music video for She's a Beauty by the Tubes. She then waited until 1989 for a more serious role, portraying Georgette in The Last Exit to Brooklyn, which really established her career and net worth. Importantly, she landed the role of Dan in Jumpin' at the Boneyard in 1992, which earned three nominations, including an Independent Spirit Award and Grand Jury Prize. During the same year, Arquette had a prominent role in the romantic comedy movie Miracle Beach, train Lars alongside Dean Cameron and Amy DeLenz. In 1994, she had a minor role in the publicly acclaimed movie Pulp Fiction, which caught the eye of the media, and then in 1995 landed a starring role in Paradise Earned, written by Paul Reuven, and acting alongside Udo Kier. During the same year, she played the main character in Days of the Pentecost, a drag action movie, and then played another main character, this time in I Think I Do, a comedy movie about a gay couple on a straight couple's wedding. Her net worth was rising steadily. In 1998, Alexis was seen as George in The Wedding Singer, which again caught the attention of the media. In addition, she was cast to play Greg in Children of the Corn 5, Fields of Terror, a movie focused on a group of college students who set out to take a road trip, but end up facing great danger in a small town inhabited by a cult of children. During the early 2000s, Arquette appeared in several hit series such as Xena, Warrior Princess, and Friends. In 2003, she starred as Eva Destruction in Killer Drag Queens on Dope, an action comedy movie directed and written by Lazar Sarek. As of 2010, she played one of the main characters in Here and Now, and in 2017, another of her film projects was released posthumously, entitled The Pretender, in which she also played the lead role. To conclude, this American actress appeared in a variety of movies and television projects over 70. When it comes to her less than private personal life, Arquette expressed interest in undergoing a series of surgeries in order to change her gender from male to female. In 2004, realizing her plan in 2006 and her transition was filmed in Alexis Arquette, She's My Brother. From then on, she was an advocate for transgender people and their issues. Nevertheless, Arquette transitioned back to male in 2013. Quite how is unclear. In 2016, she faced health troubles as a result of cardiac arrest and was placed in a medically induced coma, but died on the 11th of September, 2016, in Los Angeles, California, at the age of 47. She had been dating Jared Leto, an American singer and actor, and had been in a relationship with Sham Ibrahim. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Or head over to Celebrity.Money for the most detailed net worth articles on the market. Thank you for being with us, and we'll see you back tomorrow.